Hi, I'm Adam West. You're going to learn how to Kovops. Who am I? I have 120 wind of death metals and a 7 kill match average. First off, if you're a nuke spammer and your only tactic is to drop nukes at beacons, piss off, watch another video, your gameplay is embarrassing. I recommend outfitting your ship like this. When you're not used to flying at high speeds, you will normally crash into shit, so install a collision compensator. These slots are blank, are totally up to you. Kovops can deal the highest damage in a short time of any ship in the game, even out damaging gunships. However, the Kovops is the most fragile ship in the game. To counter this is simple, don't get hit. When flying, you want to be at full speed 90% of the time. Now that we have done the basics, we are going to go over some movements. I am sure there are a lot, but these are just a few that I picked up over time. The first is the corkscrew. This is normally used when going extremely aggressive when you're targeted by many ships. To this, you press W, Q, and A. This will strife your ship while rolling and you will allow it to keep going with your cursor on target. The second is auto movement. This can only be used for short intervals against your opponents by keeping range and by being accurate but keeping your ship moving at all times. Press W and your map up key. Minus six. Three methods to apply heavy damage in a single slow opponent. The first is circle and explode on. Use the opponent's ship as the focal point in your weapons and strife around the them faster the better. The second is avoidance strife. When against numerous opponents or guard with pulsar on, burn them by firing everything you can, then burn away until the pulsar is over or the multiple targets focus on another pilot. The third is auto movement, which is already described. Each has their advantages and disadvantages. When fighting against tacklers, use your plasma web to bring them out of cloak. This will take one to two seconds. When using your plasma arc, slow down your ship before activating the module and try to ram your opponent. Missiles are the best weapon on any interceptor. Always learn how to use unguided missiles. They take a lot of practice, but once you master them, you become unstoppable. They are the best part of any good Kovops pilot. When flying Kovops, you can normally avoid 80% of all missiles, which a lot of players don't know. When you see the missile alarm, which you can see here, the first thing you want to do is take your best guess to figure who fired it, look at your map, and then turn directly at the person who you think shot. Then force your ship into full speed with an aggressive roll action. There are two reasons for this. One, you will find out what type of missile is coming at you. Two, you want to determine how to avoid it. For reference sake, let's say it was a fighter class that fired the missile. All of their self-guided missiles apply to this. Burning and a circle movement will overtax the missile, turn speed, and allow you to avoid the missiles as seen here. If it's an octopus missile, this will still apply, but I find it works a bit better to pull range and do a circular rotation. If it was a cruise missile, as long as you keep moving up and down, left and right, will never be hit. The most important and only implant I'm going to discuss on any Kovops is armed. This implant ensures that if tackled, you can break the tackle and get back to full speed in seconds simply by using one of your multi-purpose defensive modules.